Hello and welcome back to 100 Yards of Football, Sports Talk Radio. I'm your producer, Jeremiah Long, and joining me to talk about the Old Dominion Monarchs versus the Virginia Tech Hokies in our NCAA Week 1 coverage. It's our game preview, welcoming Mr. Logan Landers. How's it going, man? What's going on, Jeremiah? College football finally back. We all know the games. A few of the games started off this past weekend. It was a great time. Nebraska, Northwestern out there in Dublin, Ireland to kick off the season. And now we're getting all the teams piling in this upcoming week. This one's going to be coming to you on September the 2nd, 7 o'clock Eastern time. So be sure to check it out, man. It's going to be a great game with the Hokies and the Monarchs. Absolutely. Well, for everyone watching from home or listening to our podcast, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for joining us day after day, week after week, as we bring you the best sports coverage in the entire broadcasting world. And how do we know that? Well, I know personally because we have such an amazing team, including Mr. Landers here. So thank you so much for joining us. And please keep sharing, subscribing, and telling all your friends and family about us. Well, Mr. Logan Landers, we're broadcasting live from Atlanta. We love football. We're 100 yards of football. This is our bread and butter. So tell us, here in the NCAA Week 1, the Virginia Tech Hokies versus the Old Dominion Monarchs, what do we see coming down the line? Let's talk about these teams, man. It's going to be a good matchup here. I always love the Week 1 matchups because you always get that certain level of just uncertainty because you don't know if teams are going to be looking razor sharp, if they're going to come out flat, because it's been quite some time since they've been on the field, we all know. They've been practicing. They've been doing a little bit of training. Uh, but they haven't had that in-game action in quite a few months, so it's always fun to see if there's any upsets about. But let's talk about this game. Old Dominion, Virginia Tech. We'll start with the Hokies first and foremost. Last season, 6-7, and 4-4 four and four in their conference. Not the greatest year. They decided to bring in new head coach, Mr. Brent Pry. Looking at Virginia Tech, right, they, we all know that in the mid-2000s and whatnot, maybe in the early 2010s, they were looking pretty good, but as of recent years, Recent seasons, it's been kind of up and down. Uh, just some teams who are looking, eh, and some other teams who are looking pretty good, but just couldn't get over that peak of getting into that championship game of looking really, really good. But they are trying to maybe get back on track, get away from that five to seven win seasons, and get things rolling. Let's talk about this offense here for the Hokies. Love the name also. Uh, Tyler Bowen comes in, man. He's coming over from Penn State, who was working over there. And you got to figure out the quarterback situation first and foremost. Braxton Burmeister, he has gone out of there with a San Diego State. You got Grant Wells coming in from Marshall, who's looking pretty good. A lot of talent, good bit of experience. He's just got to prove that he can limit turnovers, right? And I think he'll be fine. And also, you're going to be getting with Jason Brown from South Carolina. So figure out who you got over there. As for the receivers, you're getting Trey Turner, Travion Robinson. They're no longer on the team. So you're working with Caleb Smith, leading returner last season, with only, who only had 20 catches and 260 with two scores. So you're getting kind of an unproven room in your wide receiver course. So that's going to be something to look out for and see how that progresses. Um, also, Jaden Blue, pretty good playmaker, right? Just got to give the ball a little bit more coming over from Temple University. And Nick Gallo as well, good in the short game. O-line, pretty decent last year. Paved the way for 185 yards per game in terms of rushing. But you did lose three of your key players. So we'll see how that happens there, if they can hold up against Old Dominion. Uh, you are getting Cade Moore and Parker Clements back, so that's definitely going to help out, no doubt about that. Raheem Blackshear, leading rusher, he's out of there. He is no longer there. He is gone. So you got to figure out if you can get the running game going as well with Malachi Thomas. Uh, ran for a little bit under 500 yards last year, three scores. So once again, just kind of like the wide receiver, and just kind of on – Proving you don't know how these guys are going to look this upcoming year, all in all. Let's load up one over to the defense, though, and see what they can do to stop these Monarchs this upcoming week. It's going to be a great game, man. And as for Virginia Tech, right, pretty consistent last year. It was a pretty good bright spot. Wasn't great, wasn't horrible, just kind of right there in the middle. Um, Dax Hollifield, right, he's in good, he looked good shape with the linebackers. Um, Alan Tisdell as well, he's looking pretty good. Tackles for loss led the team last season. Jermaine Waller, he has gone from the secondary, led the team last year in INTs, but you're getting the Seer Peoples and Chamari Connor helping out who both of those gentlemen combined for close to two inch tackles with about 170 last season. And also um, with Amari Chapman, led the team last year, seven passes defended. Um, so he's looking pretty good. They just really got to work on getting more interceptions. So if I'm Virginia Tech, some keys to this game, 
is try and just honestly just experiment with my offense some, see what I can do, see what players could really help out kind of early in the season. And really, I think just rely on the defense for this game. I know you lost a few players, obviously, but I think if they rely on that defense, which hasn't lost a whole lot of players, that's really going to be the key for them in this ball game. As for the old Dominion Monarchs last season, pretty good, you know, six and seven, pretty much same record, um, five and three in their conference. And like I said, they've only been back in the back in uh, college football for a handful of years now, right? You know that they're they're early on in the stages and 1930s and whatnot. Now they've been back for about 10 plus years or so. But talking about this team, it was head coach, right? You're looking at Ricky Rain, his second year right now at Old Dominion. So you no, know, not the hottest start, but you're hoping to improve on it this upcoming year. For the Monarchs' offense last year, it wasn't the greatest, but when it looked good, it looked really good. Um, they look pretty solid overall. You're getting 10 starters back this year, so that's definitely going to help out on your offense. O-line needs to work on their pass protection, though. They gave them a good bit of sacks, a lot of tackles for losses, so you got to work on that. But like I said, you're getting four of your starters back for Dante Anthony and also Kadri Count and Nick Salvadieri. They're all looking pretty good, so I, I like they're getting most of their starters back, and they're just getting more and more experience. Blake Walton, he's coming back as well. Ran for, over, ran for over 1,000 yards last season, eight touchdowns, and Elijah Davis in the backfield to help him out, backing him up. Um, got six touchdowns last year as well, so the running game, watch out for that. And Hayden Wolf, right, pretty good passer, 63% of his passes last year, and close to 2,000 yards with 10 touchdowns and seven uh, intercepts, right? And then also looking good, the some guys you're getting, your Allie Jennings at the wide receiver core, 17 yards per catch last season, five scores. And also, he, he Zach uh, Koontz as well, looking pretty good there. All a Conference USA player, first team last season. Led team last year, 73 catches for 692. So he could definitely be a big target to look out for. As for the defense, right, they don't have a lot uh, of guys returning like they did on offense. It's going to be a little bit tougher this year for them. Um, so Marcus Hayes, he's coming back. He wasn't a regular starter last year. But he did lead the team with sacks with five and a half. So he's definitely going to be getting a lot more looks and a lot more uh, probably double teams this year if he keeps having a good season. And uh, Sequoia McDuffie, he's no longer with the team. But look overall, looking at this team, right, Jordan Young is done. Ryan Henry is going to be stepping in. So it's kind of a yin and yang. You lose one, but you get to keep one. Um, and that's kind of how this Old Dominion defense has kind of been this offseason coming into this 2022 season. Secondary needs a little bit of work, though, right? Roger Cray was looking pretty good, but he's no longer with the team. Trey Hawkins, all-star, looking really good. Had 76 tackles last season. He's going to be the guy to look out for, the man you circle on your stat sheets to maybe have a really good game. And also with Retarian Thomas, Terry Jones as well, um, the, both those guys combined for over 150 tackles. So they're looking good there. But overall, just some keys for this game. If Old Dominion wants to pull off pretty, you know, the upset in this one that a lot of people are thinking, they just got to limit turnovers on offense, right? They they were just fumbling the ball, giving up interceptions. You got to keep it clean in the pocket, keep it clean, you know, not have butterfingers if you're running the ball. So just watch out for that. As for the defense, just get stronger on pass defense, you know. It's going to be interesting to see how they can guard the deep passes, the long bombs, if they can really cover it, or if it's just going to be kind of a rough day for them. And, you know, if, if Virginia Tech is going to run all over them. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But talking about these two teams, like I said, it's going to be a fun matchup here on uh, September the 2nd, 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPNU. So that's going to be a fun game to look at, man. I'm going to go with a final score, a final prediction. And it's going to be a close one, I think. I think that... I, I, I'm going to give Virginia Tech the upper hand, but I do think that with Old Dominion bringing back a good bit of their starters, they are going to really help out. So I'm going to go with a final score here with the Virginia Tech Hokies 34 and the Old Dominion Monarch 21. This is going to be a pretty good game all in all. I think the Old Dominion is going to hang in there for a little bit, but I think overall just the, the, the sheer talent and the, uh, you know, just a little bit better players, a little bit more consistency, of Virginia Tech will lead the way in this upcoming ball game. Yeah, I can totally see that as well. And we are so excited just to see these two t these two teams take the field to have the amazing tailgating experiences beforehand to get back in those seats to cheer for our teams. I cannot wait. 
Well, everyone watching, all my Virginia Tech fans, all my Old Dominion fans, please put in the comments, what do you think? What do you think the final score will be? And is there anything you're really looking out for as the season begins? And for all of my general football fans, first off, aren't you excited? It's time. We're finally <laughs> here. We can finally watch some football. So tell us, again, in the comments, what are you excited about for the whole season? And if you are listening to our podcast, then we'd love to encourage you to also make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Give us one of those thumbs ups. And if you're listening to the podcast over on Apple Podcast, we'd love for you to drop a review for us. If you give us a review, whether or not it's a review that you love or a review where you'd love for us to work on something, we want to hear from you. You can just throw in there, hey, I've been listening to the show. And hit send over on Apple Podcast. It helps us so much to get those reviews. We will read through every single review that we get. And we love to respond to our audience. So thank you so much for supporting us. And if you're not listening to the podcast, make sure you jump on wherever you love listening to podcasts. Whether it's on Spotify, Apple, Overcast, Google, Amazon, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or even the Believe Podcast Network, which is our sponsor to help you bring these weekly, if not daily, podcasts directly into your home or workplace or even to your car when you're driving around. So thank you so much to everyone for this amazing, amazing head-to-head -head NCAA lineup. Mr. Logan Landers, your in-depth knowledge about the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Old Dominion Monarchs is top of the line as usual. Well, for everyone here at 100 Yards of Football, I am your producer, Jeremiah Long. Stay tuned. We'll be back with another live episode